During the school year, Williams College has a program called Science Fellows that allows students to go into North Adams and teach science at the public schools there. During the summer, there are six interns, three from MCLA, three from Williams, that work together to edit and develop the curriculums that are then later implemented in the Science Fellows program. summer we were revising curriculum that had been used by science fellows during the year and they essentially wrote down things that were difficult or things they didn't understand or things that didn't work in the classroom and it was our job to find another way to teach that topic or a way to modify the instructions in the curriculum. This was really useful uh, in the beginning of the summer because some of us had never Actually, none of us had written curriculum before, and some of us had never really seen a lesson plan written out. Uh, so this was an opportunity to learn what teachers typically did in classrooms, get advice from people who were experienced in um, curriculum writing and in teaching in classrooms. This summer we also had the opportunity to volunteer at the Williams College Summer Science Lab, which is a program for students entering 5th and 6th grade. It's run by a couple of local high school science teachers and features guest lectures from professors Chip Levitt and Dave Richardson from the Williams College Chemistry Department. The program started out about 10 or 15 years ago with kids from Williamstown and it's grown to include over 50 kids from all around the Berkshires and even as far away as upstate New York. And most of the day is spent in the lab doing experiments that are prepared ahead of time by the uh, science lab directors. So really we were guides for the students as they went through the experiments and it was actually amazing how much of an intuition the kids already had as fifth and sixth graders for science. At, at times they carried out the experiments all on their own and we were just kind of there uh, to do damage control and make sure they didn't mess up or break anything too much. So at the Summer Science Lab, uh, the interns were a very positive influence on the students, so much so that there was actually one student who admired one of the MCLA interns uh, to the point where he basically developed his hairstyle to match the MCLA intern's hairstyle, and it was something very small, but it just, it, it showed how uh, much the influence of these interns resonated with these students. The last portion of this summer internship required the interns to develop new curriculums from scratch. At one point, we decided to make a video to teach second graders about different kinds of habitats. So, for an afternoon, we got out of the library and went to the Hoosick River and dressed up as different kinds of animals and uh, shot a small music video about different kinds of hab habitats. So the way the summer interns were put into groups uh, was that each group had a Williams student, an MCLA student, and two teachers from the North Adams Public Schools. These are teachers that volunteered to spend a portion of their summer working closely with us in making sure that the curriculums were written in a more effective and successful manner. After taking several semesters of working in chemistry and college level science, it's really fun to go back to the elementary school level and remember how much, how much fun science is. It's all about hands-on activities and discovering the world and it's awesome and it's just, it's very easy to forget that when you get bogged down with problem sets.